Hello guys, welcome to yet another AMS session with uh, Newton School. Today we have Anant. Uh, hello Anant, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh... So now, Anant, are you, you know, nervous? You're going live. So have you gone live before or is this your first time going live? Uh, no, it's my first actually. <laughs> so... I hope you're, you know, comfortable. <laughs> yes. That's great. So Anand, we'll be talking about your uh, journey with Newton School uh, and also about, uh, you know, challenges or perks that we have in the tech career so that people who are watching this video can have a clearer understanding on should we or should we not go ahead with the tech career or, you know, choose coding basically. Yeah. Starting uh, with the first question that how did you got to know about Newton School? So uh, I got to know... Uh, through my colleges actually so many of my seniors and the peers were actually enrolled in the Newton school so from there actually I got to know about it that there is a platform that provides a better opportunity so, and got better it. opportunity for learning also. Got it. So your friends were also in Newton school or they were they just yeah, yeah. yes yes it is no no they were also in Newton school. They were also in Newton school. Yeah. So, Cool. You have a, a serious background, I believe, yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what was the difference that you, you know, saw when you were studying in, in your college with the conventional methods of, you know, teaching and what was the, what was different in Newton school when you were studying coding? So, I mean, the first difference is basically the syllabus only so we all know that our I mean, syllabus is pretty old so we usually i mean in the first year uh, i'm from the bachelor of engineering so in first year actually we started coding on c so that is uh, i mean a la good language to start but uh, from the current stand and um, current market standpoint if you see uh, that is a little old Got it. So, hmm. Yeah. So basically, in Newton School, what I found new was that preparing on the current uh, tech stack, which has generally being used everywhere. So through these tech stacks, I mean, it will be easier for us to understand and it will be easier to code also. So these things are, I mean, they may, I mean, the Newton School makes it pretty easy to understand. Uh, this thing is not available in colleges. So because there were fixed syllabus, we just go through the syllabus and we give the exams. But I mean, the proper understanding and proper logic development is not uh, there in the colleges. Got it. Got it. So do you think Newton School has helped you also? I So basically, when I take AMS sessions, uh, a lot of people have told me they uh, have industry-related, you know, methods of making students you know teach so do you think that was one point where newton school stood out from the conventional methods of study yes 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 uh i i mean you see in a conventional i i for example let uh, from my experience i will be talking uh, from my college experience so in colleges you can see that uh, basically teachers who came to class will basically told you we are basically teach you all the uh, i mean the theoretical parts of the coding but not uh, from the logical standpoint so for example let's say if we want to code something so we have to i mean follow a proper proper algorithm so these kinds of things will not be present in i mean college teaching and if especially if you are coming from a tier 3 colleges like me so in that case, what happens is that teachers are completing the syllabus, but uh, I mean a proper understanding of uh, language, uh, not in the language or use, uh, as per the proper understanding of coding, like how to code, is basically the most important thing when uh, we are going in the uh, coding sector or in IT sector in general. So in that, uh, I mean, point of view, I think uh, middle school uh, good Understood. So one more thing that I wanted was that uh, when you so did you do your uh, did you do the Newton School course while you were studying or did you do it after your college was completed? No. 
uh, no 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 uh, while studying while studying so yeah, yeah. was there a prince you know did you get a push in your tech career while studying from newton school uh the way they you know the way you are taught the way people are taught in newton school or you know considering mock interviews and mentor sessions as well did you you know get a push in yes yeah yes. so i mean if you consider the uh, uh mock interviews for example so in college background you see there are not so much platforms or even if you i mean are want to ask with your senior or consult your senior also so they will teach i mean they will tell you about what they ask in the interview but the proper interview setup can only be achieved if you give some uh, mock interview so this thing that i experienced with the newton school which helped me crack the interviews is basically that also so i mean i gave multiple mock interviews from starting so from basic coding i mean uh, from start uh, you say the basic uh, dsa to advanced dsa even the framework also so i i mean gave multiple rounds of mock interviews so that my concept will also get stronger and if you i mean if you suddenly got a interview call you can't get nervous because you know that these things will uh, i mean they will ask yeah yeah, yeah. so, so mock did- Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me. Yeah. So I mean, basically, mock interviews will uh, help me. So basically, it helps me. I mean, to uh, get uh, comfortable with the interview situation. So I mean, correct, while correct. preparing the interview, I was not that much nervous. That I mean, I don't know what they're going to ask. So the platform is similar. So that's why. Yeah. So basically, it made you more confident. Uh, yeah. you know yeah. mock interviews made you more confident what about communication mm-hmm. did it help you yeah. mock interviews help you in communication and yeah. you know yeah okay so, so what I'm, about yeah ha huh. so i mean in communication point of view so you see uh, if you I, i mean i gave the mock interview so uh, we had the grading system so basically in those grading systems we used to get grades on all the things and the mock interviewer gave us many review points i mean let's say i lack in communication department so they mm. gave the rating and they basically told that what needs to be done to improve this any further and i can work on it and i can again re- reappear in the mock interview so that i can get a clear picture that if i have improved or not so mm. yeah so this is what i found what about mentor sessions uh, how beneficial was mentor sessions for you uh, so i mean uh, in uh, my experience so the mentor sessions were also helpful so for example let's say after the instructor uh, session so i mean around 3 uh, hours of classes let's say i have some doubt so in classes we have multiple students to clear all the doubts of all the students is i mean practically not possible in that duration of time i mean they will teach or they can uh, answer all the doubts so in that uh, case the mentor sessions or especially the one on one mentor session is was pretty much helpful so my mentor uh, whenever i uh, connected with my mentor so he uh, asked me for the doubts and if, if let's say i do not have doubts so he just asked me questions to see that if i have i mean the clear understanding of that uh, proper i mean that topic proper understanding is there or not so let's say in uh, for example uh, any topic i thought that i have understood it properly but he used to find some questions that i found uh, difficult or that i from that i know that no 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 so this thing i have missed so one on one mentor sessions actually help me more strengthening the concept and he basically helped me with uh, many things also so for example like if uh, in cracking the interviews also so he gave me pretty tips and also uh, reviewed my resume to make it uh, i mean uh, more appealing to the <laughs> recruiters so uh, actually it helped yeah. a lot to have him correct basically mentor session was an overall help in all areas from you know as you told the resume building <laughs> or you know 
let uh, whether it be mock interviews or solving doubts <laughs> or basically someone like a friend should i assume because ha huh. yeah. uh, yeah so i mean uh, we usually uh, connect with uh, i mean after the class also so let's say if our uh, mission i mean the mental session is over so if we have some doubts during a uh, normal period also so we can ask him directly over the whatsapp or any other slack channel and also let's say if even the current uh, if i have some doubt i can connect with him so i mean during those interactions only we found the connection and we are even still continuing it so these are uh, pretty yeah. so when you got placed in your you know when you got placed what was the feeling that you had how did you so <laughs> so you see uh, i mean uh, initially can you hear uh, me yeah 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 hello 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 am i audible? i am audible right i'm i was not able to hear you i was not able to i think i had a net uh, connection oh. issue uh, oh. sorry for that I yeah so yeah we were on that uh, you know how did you feel when you got placed uh, actually you see i mean uh, with all those mock interviews and mentor sessions so uh i was pretty confident actually so when i appeared <laughs> in my interview so that was the first interview actually which i had and i yeah, yeah. Uh, basically cracked that only so i mean crack your first interview I, yeah so when i wow. was appearing in that interview i was i know i knew that yeah i mean i have practiced so i so many times that they are not not going to ask something different so my interview session was let's say if it one hour long so most of the questions were get answered around 45 minutes and there's 50 minutes we just talk and uh, everything about the i mean what will i do if i join the company so from there only i knew that okay i will be going to next round and i will be going to next round so i mean i was pretty confident in the first yeah in in the i mean while appearing only yeah that's really amazing congratulations yeah. <laughs> i can say because a lot of people you know take time even yeah. though they have given mock interviews we have a you know constant the constantly thinking then this is the real one yeah. here i can't give a mess so it's really crack it's difficult to crack you know hmm. for sure but you have done it so congratulations anand yeah. uh, also how did you celebrate with your friends or family Ah uh, no, so I mean when I cracked, so there were COVID everywhere. So oh, okay, I mean I basically okay. celebrated with uh, my family only. So okay. we basically brought a cake and we cut it. That's it. Oh, that's that's really sweet. <laughs> so uh, we have you know our viewers uh, watching this video. So basically this is the live. Uh, so there are viewers now as well, and uh, the video will be saved in our YouTube channel. and uh, that's the time when we get more views a lot of views and people mostly uh, are the people who want to clear their doubts related to coding and also you know what you know, listen to the journey of human school of every individual uh, alumni so i just wanted to you know speak something for them for, for our viewers give any tips or you know let them know about how the tech sector is and how it's you know about the work or anything basically yeah so i mean uh, in if you see on an i mean higher level so you can find the tech job i mean lucrative because of the high salary and everything but you can only survive in this if you have i mean interest towards coding so got it to that yeah so to that uh, i can say that uh, just practice i mean the consistency is all about it's all about consistency if you get a hang of the any one language and if you i mean understand how to problem solving so it's basically all about problem solving so let's say if you got the question if you answer the question if you able to find the answer and if you really enjoy this entire process then yes it i mean it's a line for you 
so you can easily just get into just learn any language it doesn't matter whatever the language it is the if you enjoy the problem solving then the it sector or basically the coding sector will be much easier and uh, you will enjoy the journey also so yeah, overall yeah overall if you see it's basically all about consistency and enjoying the process it's nothing yeah cool uh, thank you so much anand it i think we had a really nice chat and i hope this conversation will be you know beneficial for a lot of people yeah thank you so much anand Yeah.